It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we have number seven, beer number seven from our advent calendar to find and open. Uh, the advent calendar was kindly sent to us by Virgin Wines. Really excited to do these calendars because you never know what you're going to get from each door. So I got a combination of IPA glasses, stout glasses, lager glasses, just in case, because I don't know. I don't know what's coming. So, without further ado, beer number seven up here in the top corner. And we have a Bavic Super Wit. Now, I seen a bottle of Bavic on a website and I ordered it because I just love the old kind of like traditional style Belgian label and I only did that this year 2022 so I'm having my second Bavic beer in the space of a year and you go like 10 to 12 years reviewing beer on YouTube not having any Bavic beer isn't it funny it's a bit like buses you wait for one for ages two come along at once so this is their super wet uh, 5% ABV 330 milliliter can um, and what I want to say before I open the can very quickly is um, time I want to talk about time very quickly because when this was sent to me I was like whoa look at all of these beers in here and look how many days I got to kind of review and, and drink and enjoy them but then all of a sudden after a few short days, like you, you, you're already like smashing open door number seven and it's already starting to look like it's nearly half empty. And it just shows you how quickly time goes by. When you have an advent calendar like this, time, wow. Enjoy your life, everybody, because time just flies, it absolutely flies. Look at that door. Look at those doors, for example. Right, Bavic Super Wet. Let's get beer number seven from the advent calendar out into a glass see what we get so uh glass leaves i think i'm going to use my i won't use an ipa glass but i think that'll be okay belgian style beer glass i don't want to sound like a scratch record but it is freezing this morning it is, it's getting worse 2022, honestly, this I think I think we're in for a bitter winter this year. It's December the well, I gotta tell you, it's December the seventh, haven't I? <laughs> it's December the seventh. Um, it's December the fifth, um, and I'm reviewing beer number seven because I got to upload it all to YouTube, and it takes a bit of time, so I'm a little ahead of you guys. But um, Monday morning here, it is absolutely freezing we got a one to two finger they had a two finger white head on this one dissipated down to a one finger head uh, it's nice and hazy light kind of amber colored beer looks like a belgian whip really belgian whip beer good levels of slow moving carbonation uh, let's get the aroma Smells good. A little bit of, it's, it's a combination of lemon and orange marmalade. It's very kind of marmalade -y and spicy, this one. But it smells flipping delicious. Absolutely smells delicious. Let's get in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ha, ha, ha. delightful. Absolutely delightful. Even on a cold winter's morning. This is just wonderful. Look at the beer as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Doesn't that look wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. Small bubbles. An old brewer once told me the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. 
Look at the way that head is kind of chasing, chasing the lacing of the glass and then the carbonation is chasing the head of the glass. There's, there's two or three things going on there all at once. Do you know you get them fireplace videos on YouTube where people lit literally watch a fireplace roaring on the telly for hours on end? Well, I could, I could literally watch a beer like that swirling around in a glass on my TV on YouTube for hours upon end. It's a beautiful thing, beer. It really is a beautiful thing, especially when it looks and tastes as good as this. Little bit of sweetness to begin with, spicy, peppery, marmalade, orange marmalade, little bit of lemon in there. Really drinkable, really refreshing, really, really smooth. I hate to use the word smooth because it's a really generic word. I need to be more kind of in depth. But if you ever, if you ever want to describe a beer, if you ever, ever want to describe a beer's drinkability, then the ultimate word I suppose you can use to cover all your bases is the word smooth. I could, if I had five cans of that in the fridge, I reckon I could drink the five cans in an hour and a half. It's super smooth, it's super drinkable, it's super lovely. And that brings me to the advent calendar itself. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. I've had some really good beers. Beer number seven has been a really good beer. But then ultimately there's been beers, one or, only one or two, which have not been that great. But this is, I think they put this together really well, Virgin Wines, because for the beers that I like, there might be people out there that don't like. I would much prefer to drink this Bavic Super Whip, this Belgian Whip beer, Belgian white beer. I would much prefer to be drinking this with its marmalade and its spices and its drinkability than the Tiny Rebel beer that we had. What was the Tiny Rebel beer? It was like a fruited New England IPA. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Didn't like it. But there's going to be people out there that really like the Tiny Rebel beer, and they may not be a massive fan of this. So I think when you build an advent calendar, when a company puts something like this together, it's very important that they put together different styles, different breweries, different things to cover. I suppose what they're trying to do is cover bases. They're trying to cover everybody's kind of what people want to drink. Now, I think some people might think that this is like like a you know like a like a don't really care about this beer but for me this is a really solid beer a really really solid beer that deserves deserves to be in this beer advent calendar it's lovely really lovely <coughs> right um brewery de brabandier uh, it, it's in bavik hove in belgium most of this, oh, we got, do we have any English? Yeah, ingredients, water, uh, barley, malt, wheat, sugar, herbs, coriander and orange peel. There we go. That's where you get that marmalade from. Hops. And aroma, so aroma hops, I think they, that's what they mean in there. Um, but yeah, I, I think that that's lovely. That, that is a really, really lovely beer. Um, easy to drink and refreshing. Notes of citrus and spice. I, I would, if I could, if I could find this all summer long, I would drink this all summer long. I really would. It's great tasting, super smooth, super drinkable. Yeah, it's slightly sweet. I said that earlier on. They've added a, a, a little bit of sugar to the beer. So it's slightly sweet, but that kind of balances off with that kind of spicy pepperiness on the back end. All in all, it's a, it's a terrific beer. Terrific beer. I really like that. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the Bavic Super Wit. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. 
give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.